everyone, it's Katrina. From shooting around corners to tiny little spy weapons, here are 10 unusual guns you won't believe exist. Number 10. Duck's Foot Pistol Four-barreled guns, often called duck's foot pistols because of their quacker's design, date back as far as the 18th century and have become somewhat of a collector's item because of their rareness. In 2017, one was auctioned in London with a guide price of up to $5,000. It had a walnut slab-sided butt, an ornate silver wire scroll inlay, and of course, the unusual four-barrel design. This particular one is thought to have never been fired, but with such a strange design and difficulty to aim, why were these even designed in the first place? Collectors dispute when they were made, with suggestions that they were either Georgian-era weapons or made much later towards the end of the Victorian era, but one thing's for sure, they would have been extremely effective at crowd control. They were apparently very popular with naval captains, who would seldom actually have to fire because all they had to do was wave them around and the intimidation effect was enough to get large groups of people to back off. Versions of the gun were usually made with between three and six barrels, but the record goes to a weapon designed by Giuseppe Marco Fieschi in 1835. He attempted to assassinate King Louis-Philippe I in Paris, and to do so constructed a 25-barrel volley gun. His one shot managed to kill 18 people, but the king received only minor injuries. Number 9. The Corner Shot The problem with weapons that shoot in straight lines is that it can be difficult to shoot around something. So that's what the corner shot was developed for. Designed to be used in modern warfare situations, it allows users to engage from any direction and be able to trigger while completely undercover. It can be attached to a wide variety of weapons and includes high-resolution digital cameras that are mounted on the front and displayed through the LCD screen on the rear section. This allows the system to be used as a surveillance device too, and with a remote link to the triggering mechanism, the adapted weapon can be fired from behind cover. While the corner shot is undoubtedly the most advanced adaptation for this purpose, there have been a number of other similar enhancements that have been used by forces around the world. The periscope rifle, for example, was developed during the First World War to be used in trench warfare, while the Krumlauf was a curved barrel attachment for the Sturmgewehr 44 rifle that the Germans used in the Second World War. And now for some more unique history. But first, if you are new here, welcome! And be sure to subscribe and click the bell to join the notification squad. Number 8. Cemetery Gun In the 18th and 19th centuries, grave robbing became a real problem in the US and Britain. Cadavers had become valuable because the law prevented medical schools from buying them for use in research and training. Instead, they relied upon the bodies of executed criminals and bodies that were donated, but they couldn't acquire enough for their needs. Grave robbers would steal the corpses and sell them to the medical schools, creating a black market in bodies that cemeteries tried their best to prevent. The weapon they used to protect the graveyards from thieves was the cemetery gun. Mounted on a mechanism to allow it to spin in all directions, the flintlock weapon was set up at the foot of a grave, with three trip wires positioned around it. In the dark, robbers would trigger the wires and meet a grisly end, and the weapon's effectiveness soon led to them being banned. Not to be deterred, managers of graveyards then started to install coffin torpedoes, which were landmines inside coffins that gave a nasty surprise to any intruders. Number 7. The Elgin Cutlass Pistol It was essentially a 54 caliber pistol with an 11.5 inch buoy blade attached to it. The buoy blade was added to exploit the popularity of famous knife fighters such as Jim Bowie. It was adapted by the Navy in 1838 and was mainly used by boarding parties and most famously in the Wilkes South Seas Expedition. They were supposedly vital in a battle in 1840 when a landing party had to protect themselves against Fijian warriors who had attacked them on the island of Malolo. In total, 150 Elgin pistols were made, and some were even reportedly used in the U.S. Civil War. By then, though, weapon design had moved on, and they weren't wildly popular. The Navy itself stopped using them and instead preferred to equip its sailors with the M1860 Cutlass, which remained in use until the 1940s. Number 6. The APS Underwater Assault Rifle the APS underwater assault rifle was created by the Soviet military in the 1970s in order to provide improved firepower to their frogmen, who until that time had been equipped with knives and an underwater pistol. 
Based on the AK-74 rifle and using a gas piston to operate, a number of adaptations were made to make it suitable for underwater use. These included firing a dart instead of a bullet and using a smooth bore barrel and relying on the shape of the dart for accuracy. The magazine holds 26 rounds and fires darts using powder and a primer. Designed in a way that the barrel remains flooded during operation, the APS actually performs differently depending on the depth it's being used at. The deeper you go, the less powerful it becomes, and the differing water pressures needed the installation of a self-adjusting gas system to ensure that it still worked. The rifle is by no means a perfect underwater weapon and proved to be bulky and awkward to move around with. Still, it would have been enough to carry out missions and was far more effective than having just a knife. Number 5. The Key Gun From way before hidden guns used by secret agents, key guns were used in the 17th and 18th century as a method of self-defense for jailers who would be dealing with the worst criminals of the time. They were usually very primitive firearms, often being just a metal tube that was sealed on one end with a touch hole on top. The jailer would have had a lit cigar or cigarette in his mouth and touched it over the hole to ignite the powder within. More complicated versions were made, though, which included firing mechanisms, with examples still surviving that used flintlocks and percussion caps. Despite the ingenuity, key guns didn't really take off, partly because they simply wouldn't have had much stopping power, and also because once you started using it as a key, it would be difficult to keep your hand on the firing mechanism and actually use it. Number 4. Grad 22 RS Knife Gun It's a well-known fact that bringing a knife to a gunfight isn't going to get you far. That is, of course, unless you have the Grad Knife Gun. A modern version of the Elgin pistol, the Grad, which was developed towards the end of the 90s, used modern design and technology to create a slick weapon. The knife was a heat-treated, high-carbon, stainless steel, single-edged fixed blade, and inside the grips was the revolver cylinder with a 1.75-inch barrel. Towards the base of the knife was a spring-loaded trigger level that could be pulled down and, when pressed, would fire the revolver. The muzzle was inside the top of the grip, and the bullet would fire over the top of the blade. The knife and revolver could be separated to make it possible to clean and reload. Various versions of the Grad were made, including a 22-karat gold-plated one. In total, though, fewer than 1,000 made it into the hands of customers, and today they are seen as a rare collector's item. Number 3. The Pepper Box Gun Pepper box revolvers were the first types of repeating revolvers and got their name because they looked so much like an old-fashioned pepper mill. They had multiple barrels that revolved around a central axis and virtually any type of firing mechanism could be used, including a matchlock, wheelock, flintlock, percussion cap, and plenty more. The first designs were created in the 16th century using matchlock mechanisms, and the user would have to preload each barrel in advance and use a match to fire each one in turn. The early versions, up until at least the 18th century, had no automatic rotating mechanism, so this had to be done by hand. There were countless different versions of pepper box revolvers, with some having as many as 24 barrels. Their popularity waned from the 1840s, though, when the introduction of true revolvers began to take over. Still, there are some that remain in use today, such as the German-made P11 underwater revolver. This gun was made in the 1850s by a Belgian gunmaker named Mariette. It is a 24-barrel pepper box revolver using percussion cap technology. It would take about an hour to load, but it was pretty quick to fire. Number 2. The Turbio Palm Squeezer Pistol The Turbio Palm Squeezer Pistol is one of the most discreet guns ever made. As the name would suggest, it's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. The original design was patented in Paris by Jacques E. Turbiot in 1882, with the pistol's firing chambers being arranged around a rotating disc and pointing outwards. With the barrel protruding through the middle fingers, the user could fire a shot by squeezing the spring-loaded lever, which would in turn cause the disc to turn and be ready for another shot. As a close-range weapon, it was incredibly effective, particularly because it contained so many rounds compared to other weapons of the time. There was a choice of two versions, one with a 10-round 6mm protector cartridge and another with 7 rounds for the 8mm Gaulois cartridge. Having secured a U.S. patent in 1883, Turbio licensed the production rights to the Minneapolis Firearms Company, who produced their own two versions for the U.S. market. Not many examples of these weapons survive today, but if you do have one stored away somewhere, it could be worth up to $2,000. Number 1. Chainsaw Bayonet have you ever looked at a rifle with a bayonet and thought it needs to be more deadly and look more awesome? 
Well, that's exactly what Robert Weyer from Double Star Firearms tried to do in 2012, and the result was an immediate success. Known as the Zombie X Chainsaw Bayonet, it has a 10-inch blade and can be mounted to rifles like the AR-15. At first, he designed it solely to display at the SHOT Show, but it was so popular that he went on to sell 100 of them at $800 each. In 2017, USA Today released a video showing different accessories that can be attached to the AR-15, and they featured the Chainsaw Bayonet. This renewed interest in the device, and in 2018, they released a follow-up version called the Killsaw. Debuting at the 2018 SHOT Show, the new version has the same 10-inch blade, but much improved battery life, power efficiency, and weight distribution. If you're worried about protecting yourself and your loved ones from the impending zombie apocalypse, then this is surely the weapon for the job. Thanks for watching! Do you have any of these unusual guns in your collection? Let us know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time! Bye!